Hello everybody and welcome to my new tutorial Computer Basics, Buttons and Port Most devices have some kind of ports and or buttons which have different functions Most common button is power button to power device on or off Many computer cases have reset button to force computer's restart Forced restart is used if we cannot normally restart from our operating system. These two buttons are mostly positioned in front of computer case. Main computer ports are positioned in the back, but some cases have additional ports positioned in front of a case. We can provide power to a computer directly from a wall socket or through power adapter. Power adapter is most commonly used for laptops, smartphones, tablets and it transforms wall AC power to computer DC power. We know many AC and DC ports, but all of them provide the same functionality. Most common computer ports are like PS2, Serial or Comp, Parallel or LPT, Ethernet, RJ45, modem rj12 usb video ports like vga dvi hdmi s video analog audio mini jacks digital audio s pdif e sata and fiber the ps2 port is six pin mini din connector used to connecting some keyboards and mice and on new computers are less and less implemented because it is replaced by USB port. Serial port is used to connect mouse, modem, network and printer. eSATA port is used to connect external hard drives. Fireware port is high performance serial bus and can be connected to many devices. Parallel port can be used with printer, scanner and external devices like Omega Zip Drive. Ethernet RJ45 port is also named as network port and is connected with UTP cable and can be used to share and receive data over internet, home network or directly to another computer. To Ethernet port we can connect modem, router, network switch, another computer and else. USB port is short for Universal Serial Bus. USB versions are 1.x, X and for subversion like 1.0, 1.1. Then we also know 2.0, 3.0 and 3.1 versions, where higher version is faster and newer USB is and on it we connected devices like modem for internet access, printer, web camera, external disk drive and many other devices. Another USB port types are mini USB and micro USB ports. Video ports like VGA and S video contains analog where DVI and HDMI carries digital signal to show what we are doing on a computer through external display like monitor or television. Digital signal can carry much better video quality like HD, Full HD, 4K and 8K than analog signal. We also know 4 or 7 pin S video, mini DVI, micro DVI, mini HDMI and micro HDMI ports. Audio mini jack ports carries analog audio signal and ports are used to connect to speakers, headphones, microphone and input devices. Most jack ports are colored so it can be easier to connect. SPDIF port is coaxial or fiber optical and it carries digital audio signal to speakers and headphones alike. Of course, there are many more ports available, but I cover the most common ones. In next video I will present to you what ports are inside a computer. If you want more information about stuff that I covered in this video, please look at the video description for additional information. So have a nice day and see ya! Bye guys!